you've probably heard the phrase that nothing beats a classic. And honestly, nothing could be closer to the truth, or at least up until now, than talking about the Buck 110 classic hunting folding knife. So for those of you who don't know, in 1964, Al Buck introduced the Model 110 folding hunter. And this knife revolutionized the knife industry, especially because of its, um, its folding design, the folding locking system. It was one of the very first, and it's, this knife is known for its durability, its reliability, and of course, its elegant simplicity. Now you might think, wow, Marty, I can't believe how articulate you've become all of a sudden. Are you reading that off of a card? Okay, you're reading that off of a card. <laughs> all right, there you guys. So thanks for watching. This is my review of the Buck 110. No, not the classic design, and no, not the Cabela's thing that I said, oh, you know, I love buck knives. I need this too, ipso facto. Now, this is my review of the Buck 110 lightweight hunting folder knife. So, before now, if you were to get a Buck 110 knife, you would have to pay around $40 or more, depending on what variant that you wanted. And in fact, some of them would cost as much as 100 or even 150. Some, you know, I think last year they had one that was an auto deploy with a little, you press a button on the uh, on the logo here, yeah, 150 bucks. And a lot of people bought it, you know, they, they use it and they love it. Now, for those of you who uh, maybe you're just not wanting to invest that kind of money, you just want something simple, you want something that works, you want something lightweight, and you want something budget friendly, that is where the Buck 110 lightweight folder comes into place. Because it has all those things with that, sta that same style that the a buck 110 classic folder has so i'll i'm basically kind of doing a first look side by side comparison when i'm doing this video so if you guys have any other questions though because i literally just got this in the mail and i've just used it a, a little bit before i started this video to kind of get a general idea but if you have any questions let me know in the comment section down below but Let's first go ahead and start off with the weight of this folder. And as its name implies, it is lightweight. It is 2.1 ounces. That is amazing. The centering on this blade is perfect, honestly. And then, although it doesn't have a pocket clip, it does have this sheath. And I was kind of worried that I had not seen a picture of this sheath uh, anywhere. Uh, no forums, no press from a buck. This, you know, just came out, just got released, so I went ahead and bought it, and I was like, well, worst case scenario, I'll just use my classic sheath here, the, the, the leather one, which I, which I love. And you can see, obviously, the knife has the same dimensions. In fact, it even rides on the belt the same, uh, in the, at the same position but I'm kind of glad that I am able to kind of keep this with my classic folder because this one is really good it's it, it's got a good fastener it feels strong it feels reliable and it feels like it's, it's good material and it's um, it's pretty sturdy feeling so I like I like the I like the sheath on it so moving on to how how does it deploy? So you can probably see it has that nail flick. There is a way that you can kind of open knives with nail flicks with one hand, but I prefer two hands, and especially since it's lightweight, it doesn't really the handle doesn't really fling out. But yeah, just a nail flick, open this up. You know, if you need to use two hands, uh, if you don't, if that doesn't bother you, and if you like that classic look, then this is going to work really really well for y'all. And as far as how the depl deployment of the knife feels. Yeah, it has a nice smooth feeling to it whenever I open it up and it has that snap that you guys are gonna want with this, uh, this classic back lock design. Now, as far as the lockup stability, I will have to say that one of the, really the only things that I noticed that I, uh, might be an issue about this is the fact that it does rock 
only slightly. So whenever you compare that to the classic, which for me, it, it doesn't move at all. I, I, I did want to kind of note that that could be an issue, especially if there are um, QC issues and there's no way to of tightening this. So as long as Buck does his due diligence and you know keeping these tightened before you know you know whenever they're pinning these because it's, like I said, there's no way of t fastening these or, or tightening these. So uh, hopefully Buck does a good job with its QC is, is what I'm trying to say. And then moving on to the the handle itself, yeah, you can it is ambidextrous as you can probably tell, and the diamond pattern on this handle makes it extremely it, it feels it feels really good and good in hand and it's ergonomic i'm able to bear down on this it, it cuts and slices just like the regular classic buck 110. Now the blade length itself is seven point or correction <laughs> 3.75 inches and the blade steel is the exact same as the classic which is the 420HC with excellent classic buck heat treatment. It does look kind of kind of different, at least it catches the light different, but the blade steel is the same according to uh, websites. The country of origin, it it says USA, so or at least on the, where I'm where I'm pulling these stats from. Yeah, it even says it right there on, on the blade. So, made in the USA, and that brings me to the next thing. is uh, It's so surprising that the cost is only $24.95. So, really, really cool, exciting things happening in a buck this year. And in fact, there's even other similar styles for a buck that are even cheaper that are hitting the market at the moment. So... As far as my thoughts on the knife itself, the, the slight wiggle whenever the blade is open really has not caused any performance issues in my short time of using this knife and going through a few boxes and you know a bunch of paper and you know, some cardboard cardstock or whatnot. And I even tried this on plastic to see if there's any issues with going through that. And yeah, everything checks out with this knife but I would love to hear y'all thoughts in the comment section down below. Is this a knife that you're looking for? If so, be sure you check out the link in the description box down below. I'm gonna be leaving the link, but I'm actually not getting any kickback. I'm just doing this video as a public service announcement for you guys, and then I'll eventually replace it with Amazon links, which will support the channel more. I'll leave Amazon links, of course, for the classic Buck 110, but you can just feel how how much heavier this knife is, although it still retains everything else that you love about Buck in the in the classic design about that Buck uh, the Buck 110. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Let me know any questions and let me know what tests I should be doing for this. Uh, that way, I can do a little bit more of a thorough review once I've had it for a little bit longer. Y'all stay safe out there and remember, it pays to be repaired. God bless.